One of the things that sets our sport apart from everything else out there is there is no other vehicle that can go into a corner as fast and turn as sharp as we can. I can come into a corner at 135 and turn a 90 degree corner at 135 and I would exit at 100 miles an hour. And in the process, I pull an instantaneous six Gs. That force tries to rip my head right off its shoulders, which is where we bring in the helmet restraints. So thanks for those guys, it saves our necks. One of the neatest things about these in person is it's very difficult for a camera to do it justice. Okay, today we're gonna to give you a little tour of the underbelly of a Formula One tunnel boat. This, this is my boat that I currently do race. This boat was built in Italy. It's an all composite boat. So as you can see by the boat, we've got two pontoons, we'll call them, much like your pontoon boats at home, but they're not a round tube. Reason why pontoon boats aren't fast is the round tube grabs the water. We've got a bunch of hard edges that helps this boat break loose of the water. Okay, when we go into a corner, the motor back there trims under and it acts like an aileron to an airplane and it sets the boat down in the water. Once it sets the boat down in the water, it grabs the water and turns the water into railroad tracks like a train does. And that's what enables this boat to go into a corner at about 135, turn a 90 degree corner, pull about six G's and accelerate back off that corner at 90 miles an hour. This puts tremendous stress on the boat. And you can see that this boat's been well loved. We've raced this one all over the world. You can see the stress as it's trying to pull the sponson or pontoon, if it's your pontoon boat, where it's trying to pull it off. As we come towards the back, some of the things that we do to make the boats turn better is the angle that this is at. So this is not perpendicular to the tunnel bed. This is actually at a little bit of a negative angle, which helps it grab and catch the water as you go down. We turn predominantly more left than right. Here in Springfield, we do a good job at putting a right-hander in there, which is always challenging for the drivers. We gotta thank Cap Construction, because without them, we wouldn't have this crane to show you guys the underbelly and the inner workings of a tunnel boat. So we not only have to worry about the ailerons flying the airplane, we have to worry about how high the motor is. And the way that you assimilate motor height is grip. You're driving your car down the interstate and you stomp the gas on blacktop and it accelerates. You hit gravel and you stomp the gas, it doesn't go anywhere because it throws gravel. You get your prop too high, you're on gravel. No grip, no acceleration. As the race starts, we all start with our motors up in the air and you race for the first couple of laps. As the race ensues, the water gets rougher and rougher and rougher. And as the water gets rougher, you have to take the motor down on the jack while also compensating with the flight flat, the aileron of the airplane, to make sure that the boat bites going into a corner to make sure you're flying it just right so it doesn't kiss off a wave and peel you over backwards. Uh, going into a corner with a bunch of boats, if you don't get the boat landed on the water, like landing an airplane, you need that water to bite the bottom of the boat to help the boat turn. Without a good bite, you'll enter the corner and your barrel roll. 